What is your most memorable story of petty revenge? I have a friend whose pumpkin fall display at the end of his driveway would be run over by the neighborhood jerk. Happened every year. My friend decided to put a stop to it. He withdrew money from his savings account so he would have enough to buy the largest pumpkin he could find. Along with several large bags of quickrete. Filled that puppy up and made a real pretty display. The jackass broke the axle of his shoddy car when he hit that pumpkin. Could not drive away. My friend had his car towed away. 2. My co-worker sometimes throws out her lunch in the garbage can at my desk instead of her own. Because she claims she can't stand the smell of old ketchup that's been sitting out for a couple hours. I've asked her several times to stop. But she will then just wait until I get up to go to the bathroom and do it. And hide my garbage can under my desk so she thinks I won't see it. Every time she does it. I wait until she goes to the bathroom. Take out the little plastic container that she had ketchup in. And put it way in the back of her bottom desk drawer. There's six in there now. The oldest is over a month old. So far. She hasn't noticed the smell. Gonna keep doing it and see how long it takes her to notice. Edit. Cool. This got silver. Thanks. Random person. Comma for that. I'm adding some additional details. I have taught her everything she knows at this job. But she is a fucking moron. And she always tries to get other people to do her work for her. Sometimes I'm not sure if the stupidity is an act. And she's secretly a genius for getting other people to give her answers. But then she'll say something ridiculously stupid that's non-work related that removes all doubt. Literally nobody in the office likes her. And a couple of our co-workers know that I'm doing the ketchup thing and fully approve. They were shocked when she threw her lunch away in my garbage the first time. Basically we all want her to be fired or quit. But it's unlikely. Clarifications. She gets french fries in the work cafeteria. And there's a big ketchup dispenser thing. We get little plastic cups to put the ketchup in. There's lids available. But she doesn't use them. She fills up the cup with way more ketchup than she needs. So there's always left over. I would say maybe a tablespoon full. I caught my flatmate telling lies about me to some mutual friends. I made plans to move out the next month. In the meantime. She went out of town for a week. And left her car parked in its usual spot in the parking lot. I threw bird seed on it every morning and evening. So when she came home. The birds wouldn't leave her car alone. It would be amazing if the birds started considering the car their home and protecting it by dive bombing her. Having birds do your bidding is some real super villain type shti. I used to manage a Starbucks when one of my baristas asked a guy his name and he just flipped the fuck out belittling her. Called her stupid etc and didn't give a name. Anyway I take over the handoff drinks and place his drink just on the handoff with no words. I'll add it was a busy store with a lot of people waiting. I just keep putting drinks out for about 10 stroke 15 minutes and Douchabag walks up and picks up his drink that's now lukewarm and goes. Is this mine? I just respond with. I don't know it doesn't have a name on it. My college roommate had a bad habit of leaving her things in piles on our bathroom floor until there was almost no space to walk to the bath or toilet. Not just clothes but change. Jewelry. Decks of playing cards. Knitting needles. Books. Hairpins. Scarves. Earbud headphones. Keys. Etc. One day she left $40 scattered with the mess. So I put the money in one of her lesser used bathroom drawers. Originally I put it there to protect it from our third roommate and her friends. When I came home the next day and noticed that she was clearing her mess in an effort to find it. I decided not to tell her where the money was until our bathroom floor was spotless. Afterwards. I decided it would be too awkward to tell her the truth so I left the money wadded up in her hamper as I'd found it on the floor. She was ecstatic when she found it on laundry day. After that her bathroom piles never got quite as big. Not me. But for my wife. When we were younger and kind of on hard times. She took a pretty shady job at a local factory. The first two weeks she was there. She had her lunch stolen at least five or six times. Even open drinks. I was pretty p said. 
Lot of times I would grill for her or make her lunch. And she was going hungry. One night I bought a big ass Gatorade and a box of those women's laxatives. Both red in color. Couldn't tell the two were mixed. But we found out who the thief was. My friend's sprite kept getting stolen even though she wrote her name all over the can. Finally after the fifth time it happened she got a habanero. Cut it open and rubbed it all over the top of the can and left it in the fridge. We found out who the thief was when that afternoon we hear the office drama queen shriek in her cubicle and run to the water cooler. He never stole anything again. My friend did some work for a guy who skipped his bill and never paid him. My friend is so petty he did many things. Such as. Placed fake for sale ads with too good a deal like a nice boat for $1000 and other numerous ads with the guy's number. Our city is big on garage sales. He posted ads like. Moving out sale. Everything must go. Cheap. Will be held inside the house. Just walk in or ring the doorbell. Then put this guy's address on the ad. He also signed him up for numerous. Free gym memberships. And responded to things like car dealership ads with this guy's phone number. He did a lot more. That's just what I can remember. I don't know who I feel more sorry for. We were kids staying at the seaside on holiday with our family. My little sister would always make a pretty sandcastle. And the next day it would have been kicked down and she'd cry. We wanted to find out who was doing it. So one day we stay behind to spy. We watched as a bunch of jerk older boys came by and kicked her castle down. Laughing smugly. So the next night. We covered a big beach rock in sand and decorated it. Like clockwork. The jerk kids came with their smug faces and this time kicked a solid rock with all of their might. The yowl and the look on their faces was the best revenge ever. There's a new truck in my apartment's parking lot. Always taking up multiple spots. Always. Weird angles. Close to the stairs. All over the place, no assigned parking unfortunately. Months of this. I drive a much smaller car than that. And I'm petty passive aggressive. I've been waiting for my chance. A few days ago was my shot. I got home quite late and there were zero spots open in my lot. Big truck is double parked again. But there's just enough room on their driver side for me to sneak in there with my little clown car. I carefully pull in. Making sure not to touch anything. No damage. No nothing. My passenger side mirror is half an inch from their driver side door. I giggled to myself all the way back to my apartment and set an alarm and waited. The following morning I wake up before the alarm to loud door slamming and stomping around I check out my window and I see the double parking culprit walking around both vehicles. Taking pictures. Texting someone. Taking more pictures. I'm shaking with glee. They then swallow their pride. Let out a visual sigh. And climb in the passenger side. Clamber over the center console. And Austin Powers 20 point turn their butts out of the spot. I've never been so proud of myself and my shtty Petty. Passive aggressive ways. At my previous job. We had separate refrigerators for the different shifts. Our food was constantly constantly being stolen or messed with. One day. My buddy and I decided to make a nice cherry cheesecake. Out of cooking lard. We finished it off with graham cracker crust and cut a couple of slices out of it since we knew the thief wouldn't be brazen enough to take the first bite. We never found out who the thief was. But we never had to worry about anyone messing with our food ever again. Edit. We chose lard as a less harmful alternative to laxatives or the wrong type of pepper. That tea can be extremely dangerous. I doubt WH ever tried our cherry greaser cake even able to swallow a bite. My brother did something to his annoy his then girlfriend. So she took the labels off all his canned food tins in the cupboards. Are you opening a tin of beans? Or a tin of tomato sauce? Or cat food? Kinda hilarious. My grandmother told a story of how that was a pretty common wedding shower idea during the depression. They would get the couple canned food but take the labels off. So every meal was an adventure. If it was something home canned. They'd just try to give something ambiguous. 
She said it was meant to make a little game of the fact that people were in such hard times that food was a gift. Grounded yet again by my angry dad for breathing whilst his ball game was on. I was stuck in my bedroom bored witless. For something to do I flicked the light switches on and off. Pre-mobile era folks. We had to make our own fun. Dot. It was then I discovered that this made a loud buzzing static interference on the TV in the lounge. Cue the next 5 years of petty revenge. Angry dad never figured out why we had such a bad TV signal at game time. He never connected it with me being sent to my room and flicking the light switch every few minutes. Reveling as he yelled futilely at the static dancing across the TV. I used to work doing stuco in East Texas. One guy just never paid us. So we spent a day tearing down everything we worked on. Another time. While working for a small machine shop. A customer kept beaking us around about paying for some work we did. Was all a walk-in job. Paid half up front and would pay the rest of pickup. Well. He needed his part now and would pay us the remainder in a month or so. So. We cut his part in half and said we'll give him the other half in a month or so. Lesson of the story. Don't fuck around with contractors. I used to go to this arcade and play a certain basketball game, as my name indicates. I was climbing the all-time wins leaderboard in said game, very close behind number 1, when one day my account vanishes. None of the other accounts do. And I learned that somehow the number 1 wins player, who works there, had a hand in it. I waited until he played another game and watched as he puts in his code for his initials account. Then waited 30 minutes when he was done. Logged into his account on that machine and tanked a game pretty hard. When I was done his record dropped to 210-1. Unfortunately I did not see his reaction. But I got way too much vengeance satisfaction from it. Back in the late 90s I worked at Best Buy and one Saturday a month we had to come in 3 hours before the store opened, so 7am, for a mandatory all store meeting where we watch the video from corporate. Give out employee of the month awards. Go over department goals. And the like. Well there was a guy in our department James who was a pretty crappy worker and showed up to the meeting an hour late and the manager took him aside and fired him. Well apparently the manager didn't watch him on his way out of the store and he went into the break room and stuck his finger in every single donut they brought in for our break so literally the only mild positive of getting up at 6 on Saturday was ruined. 20 years later and I still miss that donut. A young guy down the street was constantly speeding through the neighborhood. He gets home from work around the same time every day and always rips it down the street to his driveway. I called the city and had a cop come out and do radar. He got a dangerous driving charge and stopped speeding around here. I lived in an apartment with a roommate. We had neighbors who would throw crazy parties pretty frequently often times during the week. One day my roommate who had to be awake early had enough and decided to PSS on a metal pizza pan and stick it in the freezer. After a crazy party he pulled the pan out. And flipped it upside down giving him a frozen disc of PSS. He then slid that disc under their door where it would melt on their fully carpeted entryway. Woke up to them shouting at the people who crashed there about to pee said on the floor what the fuck was wrong with them. Wish I could say they toned down their parties. But they didn't and eventually got evicted. I got reviewed at work by a manager I had never met before. I had done everything I was always told to do. And more. But he still marked me low. I know it's because they wanted to avoid giving me a raise. But at least say you don't want to can't afford to. I'll at least respect your honesty. Anything else. And you can go fuck yourself. Anyway. He told me I didn't go the extra mile. I pointed out that I always do. His response? Double quote. Well. I never see you do it. I said. Well. Maybe if management didn't always hang out at guest services and went around to the other floors. Where I am doing my job. You'd have seen me. That got him to yell at me and mark me poorly for attitude. But I jaff. Later on. He came up to me and asked me if I could stay late. Given that I'd previously told him I didn't have anything else to do the next day. He probably thought I'd say yes. I looked him in the eyes and said. 
Sorry. But I don't see that you guys need my help. My friend in high school was such a drama queen but it worked out hilariously sometimes. He was cut off by a driver who had no brake lights and it set him off so badly that he followed until a cop was behind. Merged around the guy and then brake checked him so the cop would see that he had no brake lights. The holler he let out when the cop pulled the other guy over is still one of the funniest moments of my life. Went to a restaurant for lunch during a work shift. Out of three parking spots somebody decided to park across every single one. There were no other parking spots at the time. So I decided to park within half a foot from my passenger side to his driver door. Ordered and got my food. And noticed an older, 60 plus, man leave and walk in the direction of our parked cars. When I left and walked towards my car. Sure enough he was there. Tray of drinks in one hand and a bag of food in the other. Just absolutely struggling to get into his vehicle. He called out about why I parked like this and my only reply was. Why did you park across three spots? Park like and ass you better expect to be treated like one. My sister smoked and hid it from my parents as a teen. She did something that pissed me off. I found and destroyed her cigarettes and then told her. She smacked me around. Then I told my mom. She got in a bunch of shti for beating me up and my sister and I both knew why but she obviously couldn't be honest about it with my mother. She got grounded for a while and my smug little ass got as many knowing glances at her as I was able. I did this unintentionally. But it's still revenge, petty. I don't know you tell me. In elementary school I would get pulled into a small room for one on one teaching sessions every week and I would have 3 4 different teachers. This day I had the one I hated so much, my family didn't like her either, and I asked her if I can go to the bathroom. Double quote. No. 10 minutes later I asked again. Double quote. No. 4 minutes after asking that time I stood up to tell her I really 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 bad to go. He said. No. Shti down. Guys it was too late I was already going on the carpet. I was crying and her jaw went to the floor. That BTCH was still cleaning it when I was walking back from the nurse's office. I was in second grade. My grandma, she raised me, never wanted that teacher to teach me ever and she got in trouble for not letting me go to the bathroom. I were hearing aids. And a girl in my math class when I was in HS used to make fun of me. I had not said two words to her. I gave her no reason to do it. She was just being an evil CNT. I recording her mocking my hearing loss on my phone and played it for her parents. They took the new car they just bought her back to the dealership. Thank god for parents like this. Good on you for taking things into your own hands. And good for you for not retaliating with violence or something the like. When I was in law school I went to a bar with a bunch of law school students and decided I wanted a cig. I went outside and a whole bunch of girls are smoking. I don't like to bum cigarettes. But I had a free small fry coupon from McDonald's. I offered it to the girl if she would give me a cigarette. She said okay. I handed it to her. And then she wouldn't give me a cigarette. She said. You shouldn't be so trusting. Flash forward a few months. And I'm the head GA for the IT for a division in our university. Which includes administration. I went up to replace a computer and saw the same girl. She was waiting in line for a job interview. I went up to the person who was conducting the interviews, I was their IT person too, and told them the story. She didn't get the job. I had a roommate in college that would blare their TV in their room and talk loudly on speakerphone well into the night. I was young and too big a PSSY to confront them about it. After a semester I had had enough. One time before going out I put my speakers up against our shared wall and blasted in hours only time on endless repeat. I also locked my door so they couldn't come in to turn it off. I got back around 3 am. I've told this one before. But it makes me happy to retell it. I had a boss 7-8 years ago whom I hated. She was the fuckest and most entitled person I had ever met. One day. She decided that she didn't like the smell of microwave popcorn. So she waved her magic office wand and had it banned. Fast forward a month or so. 
I was browsing Amazon and found one of those USB sticks that emits a smell when plugged in. The smell of buttered popcorn. I bought it. Plugged it into the back of her computer. And she had the sweet smell of pop secret in her office for 6 fucking months. She complained almost every day. It's the sweetest revenge I've ever tasted. On the first snowfall one year. A co-worker balled up a snowball and threw it right in my face in front of the whole office. Everyone laughed and he refused to apologize. So on the next workday it snowed. I gathered a backpack of snowballs and disguised myself as a snowman in front of our work building. Waiting for him to arrive. When he did and tried to open the front door I had locked. Burst from my snowman disguise and pelted him repeatedly with snowballs. My fingers and penis were frozen from waiting as a snowman but it was definitely worth it. Dated a guy and later found out he had another girlfriend. Messaged the other girlfriend on MySpace, showing my age here, and told her if she wanted to know the truth it would be better to hear it from him. So please call me and I'll call him on three-way calling. She did and stayed totally quiet on the call while he tried to set up some SI time with me for later that week. Finally I said. I don't think I can do that. Comma might have a problem with it. Wouldn't you? Question mark? She finally chimed in with an open a fuck you to him, and he hung up in a panic. Wished her luck. No idea how it turned out for them. But I blocked his sorry ass and still get a chuckle at the moment of pure fear we heard in the silence before he hung up. It's not really revenge I suppose but my fiance always has a bed maid. Like even if I'm poorly and gone downstairs for juice. Come back up and it's made. So when I'm annoyed with her and leaving the house after all I'll make sure to leave the bed unmade and send her a picture. Just so I know it'll annoy her for the rest of the day.